Let me show you how to send hundreds of emails directly from Google Sheets. Mail merging allows you to send personalized emails where each column in your spreadsheet is a variable in an email template. Google has this script for mail merging and the best part about it is you won't actually need it. What is it, 2010? In this video, I'm going to show you two ways how you can send bulk emails using the workflow automation tool called Pardeen. The first method will just send the emails from everything that you have in the spreadsheet. And the second one will allow you to click on the checkbox to get an email sent. And I bet you I can get it working in less than a minute. Time is ticking, let's go. Here I have a list of Italian American mobsters that I want to mess with. I'm going to open up the Chrome extension called Pardeen, create the new automation, pull the data from the spreadsheet. Here we have a get table from a Google sheet, pick the spreadsheet, pick the tab, click on done. And now let's add the Gmail action. Gmail, send email, map the data coming from the Google sheet, email, okay. The subject line is got something. Okay, and for the body, this is where mail merge is going to be happening. Hey, and then I'm going to insert a column, hey name. Then I'm going to do my personalization statement. Personalization statement. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to click on done, click on done again. Call this automation mail merge. Click on save. And finally, with a few seconds to spare, I'm going to run the automation with one click just on time. There we have the emails. Let's check them out. Here are all of the sent emails. And as you can see, all of the first and last names were merged over here. Let's click on this one to see what's inside. Okay, maybe that one was a little too harsh. Let's recap. In this spreadsheet, I have a list of names, emails, and something personal to say to them so that my messages do not sound like copy pasta. Not that kind of pasta. You know what I mean. You can use AI like ChatGPT to make your messages sound even more personalized. You can do it right from Google Sheets and I have a perfect video for you to check out how to do it. Click here to watch it. But be careful, look through the responses first to make sure that you like them before blasting them out at scale. This time around, I want to format the spreadsheet a little bit. Let's split the full name into first and last name first. I'm going to use the split function and point at the full name like this and split by the space character and boom, there we have the first and the last name. Then let's drag this formula all the way down, wrap text, now it looks really pretty. Finally, I want to create this action that will be a checkbox that will send out our emails. For that, I'm going to select this column and click on insert checkbox and drag it down again, just like that and call it send email. Finally, I want to get some sort of validation that the email has been sent. So for this column, we'll say send date. Okay, so the send date will come in here. Next up, let's go ahead and build our automation. It's super simple using Bardeen. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to create a new automation, but the links to all of the automations that you will see in this video are down below in the description, so you don't have to rebuild them from scratch. So I'm going to click on create and show you how you can build a custom automation that will send mail merge emails. Let's pick Google Sheets, scroll all the way down, and here we have a few triggers. When a new row is added, or changed in a Google Sheet. That's the action I'm looking for. Let's point at this spreadsheet, Italian mobsters this time. It's sheet number one and boom. So whenever the row is added or changed, and it's going to be changed when I click on this checkbox, then something is going to happen. We need to validate. Up next, we're going to create a simple filter. It's called a conditional block so that only the changes where the checkbox is ticked are going to trigger the rest of the workflow. So the values we're going to check come from the trigger action. Let's look at the data. The operator is going to be equals and then the value is true for the last argument we're going to select yes and no with respective portions of items what this means is that if you have multiple rows in the spreadsheet updated all of those rows are sent to the automation and then the ones that have the send ticked they're going to go to this yes branch and the ones that do not have anything but they're updated nothing's going to happen so that's our conditional block so we have the trigger action, the conditional block, and if yes, indeed, we check box, we're going to send the email. Let's add the send email action. Grab the data from the trigger action. That's going to be our email address. The subject line got something interesting for you. And then for the body of the email, let's say, hey, and then insert 
the first name. There it is. Let's add that personalization statement and then we can add the rest of our template. I'd love to work with you. Sign off or not, click on done and boom, there we have it. So we're sending the emails. Now let's update that spreadsheet row saying that, hey, the email has been sent in a specific point of time. I'm going to add the last action. It's going to be a Google Sheets action. Update Google Sheet rows, select that same spreadsheet. We have search rows by column. We're going to match everything by the email column. Make sure that it matches. For example, here, it literally says email. So that's what we're going to insert. Let's open up Birdie back up. Italian mobsters this time. It's going to be sheet one. And the third argument is search rows by column, meaning how the rows are going to be matched so that we update them. We're going to do that by the email column because that's a unique identifier for every person. This action is going to check the email column and find a specific value. And that's how the records are going to be updated. And for that value, we're going to look for the recipient email. It's the two parameter. Finally, here we have a number of columns that we can update. I'm only going to update the send date column. And here I'm going to go to action number two, which is the Gmail action. Here we have a bunch of data that we can dump in there. So I'm going to dump in this date, click on done. And that's our automation. We have the trigger action, the conditional block, send email and updating the spreadsheet row. Let's click on done, call this automation checkbox to send emails, save it. And very important, make sure to enable your automation, otherwise it's not going to work. So now I'm going to go back to our spreadsheet and I want to send another email to Tony. Why not? Checkbox this. Then let's create a new record. It's going to be me. Drag this variable down, drag that variable down as well. And just like that, our emails were sent. You can open up Bardeen over here and click on this activities tab to see the emails triggered over here. We can also go to send column and here we have our three emails sent, which exactly represents the three checkboxes that we've ticked over here. The thing to remember is that this automation should not be overused. So try to limit the number of emails that you send to around 50 on the regular Gmail account and definitely under 300 if you have a G Suite account. You've seen how versatile Bardeen is in terms of cold outreach, but it doesn't stop there. You can extract information from places like LinkedIn or pretty much any website site using the Bernie data scraper. You can find email addresses of people inside Google spreadsheets with one click, or you can write cold outreach messages using artificial intelligence at scale. Check out this video next.